Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm doing a video talking about what is in my travel makeup bag. So I actually just got back from a trip to the beach, like, yesterday, and I really wanted to share with you guys what was fresh on my mind, what type of products that I like to bring when I go on vacation. So I know that summer's coming to a close, and everyone's trying to get in those last-minute, you know, summer vacations, and if you are, these are some really helpful, like, products and tips for what you should bring if you're kind of like me and don't really know or need kind of like a guideline or a list so you can make sure that you don't forget anything. This is also really helpful for trips all throughout the year, not just summer, but some of these products like bronzers and stuff are more directed towards summer trips. So I hope that this video is helpful for you guys. If it is, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button that looks like that. Um, that would really help my channel out and I just really appreciate it. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. The first product I wanted to talk to you guys about is one from Becca. It is a primer. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Here's what it looks like. And this primer I think is really great for the summer especially because of course you can wear it underneath makeup. But I also think this is great for wearing alone. When I'm at the beach or when I'm at like a kind of a hot place, I don't necessarily love wearing a ton of makeup just every single day unless I'm going out to dinner or doing something where I kind of want to look better. But this is really great because it gives just such a radiance to the skin. So if you wanted to wear it on your own, like on its own without a foundation or a BB cream, it looks super nice. But if you want to wear it underneath a foundation, it also looks great because it'll give your skin kind of like a glow from within. And it'll really kind of shine through but not be too overpowering. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but when you have like a foundation on, it kind of just shows like a little bit of radiance without looking too glowy or too oily. So the next product I have is a Makeup Forever foundation. Here's what it looks like. It's the Ultra HD one. And if you have a similar skin tone to me, um, I'm in the shade Y225. And this has been a product that I've used just forever. I believe I've talked about it on my channel before. Here's the thing with this foundation. I feel like it is perfect for summer from basically a lot of skin types because for me, it does let just a little, just the right amount of like glow and oil seep through and come up to the skin where it's not looking too oily or making me look too like greasy or whatever. It just kind of makes me look radiant and I really like that. So of course I'm not gonna be wearing this if I'm at the beach or like going down to the pool or whatever just cause I don't really like doing that. I like to be able to have like actual sunscreen on my face and just kind of go more natural. But like I said before with the primer, if you're going out to dinner or doing something more fancy, I really recommend this. So the next product is actually one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to kind of try and keep my description kind of brief on it just because I have talked about this a lot on my channel before. But it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Fair Neutral. This product is great for covering under eye circles. It's great for covering blemishes. And for me, it's really just one of those products. It does have a heavier formula, so you don't necessarily want to be wearing it like all the time, covering your face in it, but if you are going to be like out and about on a vacation, but you don't want to be wearing like a straight up like foundation or even a BB cream on your face, you can just use this to cover up those dark circles or blemishes or whatever, and you'll be good. Okay, so this powder is one from Kat Von D. It is the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. You can't really see what it is because it's like an engraving and it doesn't really show up on camera. But this powder is super great because it's not one that's going to have any flashback. So if you're out and taking pictures with the family and you don't want to look like a ghost, but you do want to look kind of like smoothed out and put together, this product is great. Okay, so the next product I have is the Invisible Bronzer from Bare Minerals. Here's what it looks like. And... I have mine in the shade medium. I'm normally a light in like any bronzer just because I do have like fairer skin. But I really like this one because, I don't know, I just love bronzer. And this product is really great because you can go with like a heavier hand with it. So here's what the bronzer looks like. Um, I absolutely adore this shade. I love this formula. It really is just one of those bronzers that you can use everywhere. If you're someone who like, if you're wearing a shirt like this, you can like really just like bro my tan line, but you can just bronze like all right there with this product too. And normally I like to go with creams, but even if you use this, it's not going to really go anywhere. And it also stays on the face all day long. So this really is just one of my number one products. And I really recommend it for like the summer. And even like if you want to go with a lighter hand in the fall and the winter months, it's great. Okay, so I love traveling with this blush because of its size. It's super thin and it has a great formula. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. It's kind of like giving a reflection on it. Um, I will show you guys. You get a ton of product in this blush and it's pretty inexpensive. Here's what it looks like. You get like that much. And I just really like this. I love this shade. 
I like it for the summer and for the fall and kind of for the winter too because it is like that wine mauve color and you can use like a really light hand in the summer and it'll just give you that perfect like flush. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can see it very well. But that's what it looks like and then you can you can go with a light hand and it'll look beautiful but then if you want to use it in the fall and winter as well you totally can because it does have that great like whiny like wintry color so whenever i'm like in a hotter place i don't love wearing a ton of highlighter sometimes i don't wear any just because i do feel like it kind of enhances the oils on my face that i already don't want a lot of a traction to but this highlighter i just love it's super natural and i feel like it's the perfect day-to-day -day highlight it is the Laura Mercier Mount Radiance Baked Powder, and I have mine in the shade Highlight 01, and I actually have this in the travel size. I don't know if you can purchase the travel size, but here's what it looks like, and this is just lasting me forever. You see, it's really, I mean, it is just gorgeous. It's got this really nice, smooth texture. Um, here's what, like, a little swatch of it on my finger looks like, and I'll put a little swatch on my hand here. See, I just think this is so pretty and really I feel like it's just one of those products that's going to give you that radiance but you're not going to look too like oily and glowy with it which is like a must for me. This next product is just an all-time fave especially for travel. It is the Sephora, sorry, the Sephora Colorful Wink It Liner. This is in the shade 01 Little Black Dress and there's so many great things about this. It's affordable, it works well, it's easy to work with, it stays for a long time. So I'll show you guys what the little tip looks like because I think that's pretty important when talking about eyeliners because everyone likes different things. This is a felt tip waterproof liner. So not only can it last all day, it's super easy to work with, but also like you can go underwater. Like I know you can't like rub your eyes underneath the water, but if you go underwater and kind of swim for a little bit, I really do not think this would budge. I'm not necessarily a swimmer, but like if I do dip my head underneath the water for a little bit, it's not going to budge. I really like this product and I really would recommend it to anyone, especially if you want to kind of have the glam, but you want to be able to have fun, especially when traveling. So this next product is actually one of my travel essentials. I feel like I can't travel without it. It is the Tartelette Tarte in Bloom palette. That's what it looks like. And I'll show you the shades. Mine's like really beat up. And honestly, you guys, this just has so many neutrals, but you can also like kind of vamp it up with these darker colors right here if you want to. And you have some fun like shimmers. It's a really easy palette to work with. It's super blendable. I love all of the Tartelette palettes. I think they're amazing. Tarte has some of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I just love it. But this just has those shades that I feel like I always want when I'm traveling. And they're really like nice and fun and easy to work with. So I really like these. And honestly, I know that this palette is kind of one that's been out for a while. But if you don't already have it and you don't have something similar to it, I would try and pick this up. So this next product is probably on its last limb, but I just love it so much. It's like my favorite mascara ever. This is the Touch and Soul Stretch X Mascara. Here's what it looks like. This product is just a go-to mascara for me. Um, there's so many great things about it. And for me, it's supposed to be just like a lengthening mascara that, you know, defines lashes, kind of separates them. But it does so much more. Like, for me, I feel like I'm literally, like, my lashes just look super long and super dark naturally. Like, they're naturally like that. Like, I didn't put mascara on, but, like, in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense, but, I mean, seriously, they just look long. They look black. They look dark. Like, everything you want in your lashes, but it doesn't look like you're wearing mascara. Like, they just look so natural. I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. And I think that's partially because of the formula and partially because of the brush Sometimes I think it's like one or the other, but you can see how it has that dip and I feel like that's really helpful when it comes to like stretching and lengthening the lashes. I can't say enough good things about it. Really, I know that it doesn't, they're not sold on Sephora anymore, which kind of irritates me, but you can get them some other places, so I really would hunt this down and get it. So the next product is a mascara as well. It is the Maybelline The Falsies Waterproof Mascara and this is like from the Volume Express little collection. Whenever I go on a trip, I always like to have one regular, like, of my favorite mascaras and then a waterproof one. I'm not really hard to please when it comes to a waterproof mascara. I just want something that is going to, you know, stay, not, like, you know, come off if I sweat, not if I get wet. Like, I want it to last. And I also just want one that's going to make me look more alive, which basically most mascaras do. Mascara is, like, the one makeup product that if someone was like, you can't have any others, what would you choose? mascara because for me it's just something that makes me look more alive more awake it's just something in a quick step that makes me look just a little 
step up a little bit more decent quickly. So these, I mean, I just need something that's going to go quick. So if you already have a favorite, I don't think you necessarily need this one. But if you're wanting to draw out a good one, I'd recommend this one. So this next product is one from Longcomb. It's the Longcomb Cream Lipstick. It's in the shade Love It. I mean, I definitely wouldn't, like, if you're really into packaging, you may not love this product. It's just, like, black. But I love the formula, and I love this shade. So here's Love It. It's just, like, a super nice, like, pink. I don't know any other way to describe it, but then, like, my perfect, like, pink neutral color. It's so pretty. And this formula is a little bit more sheer. It is buildable, though. Like, if you wanted to get, like, a bunch of color, it's, you know, great. I like topping this with, like, a gloss, or you can wear it on, on its own with, like, kind of, that's a swatch of it. You can see it's kind of sheer, but I really like that, especially when traveling, when I want to have, like, a lip color on, but maybe not a liquid lip. So the next product is one that is just great to just throw on whenever you're in a rush, even if you're, like, just going down to the beach or wherever you're going, and you just want to throw on just a little bit of color, this is great. This is the Revlon Lip Butter. This is in the shade Sweet Tart. And I'll show you guys what the shade looks like. This is a really sheer, just like balm almost. Like you could call it a lipstick if you really wanted to. Kind of has like a pinky berry mixture. I'll do a swatch of it. It's, I mean, it's even more pigmented than the other one. But it definitely has like that balm feeling to it. And it doesn't have a super long lasting time. But it has a really pretty color. It's just that bright pink right there. Super pretty, super easy to wear. Alright, so the last product is a lip gloss. You know I couldn't go on a trip without a lip gloss. They are my all-time fave. I have to have one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Cherish. First off, these are super affordable. They're super easy to wear. Um, they're just, you know, they just got the typical doe foot applicator. They have great color, great pigmentation. They have a wide variety of colors too. Like, they're just great. So I'm going to do just a little swatch of this on my hand. This is kind of like a... I do have to kind of layer it, but this is just a little bit of a lighter color, so if you happen to be wearing a darker lipstick and you want that little, like, lightness in the middle, this is beautiful, or just to wear all over the lips. Here's what the shade looks like. You can see it's super, just kind of a light pinky shade, which is really easy to wear with anything, just to throw on. I really like this, and I think that if you're someone who loves lip glosses, you will too. Alright guys, so thank you for watching that video. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe found a few products that you want to add to your travel makeup bag or I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button if you have not already and clicking that notification bell that looks like that so you will be notified whenever I post a video and you won't miss out on the fun. So I feel like I can never say this without like being super cheesy, but I try and say it in like pretty much every video. I am just so thankful for each and every one of you who come and watch my videos, who subscribe to my channel, who support me. It really does just mean so much. So I just wanted to thank you guys and let you know how much your support means. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.